down here by the creek. The work, it's never done. There's always something that needs doing. Just like today, the work shall continue. Maybe not a big project, but there's always something. You flashing the light to cool. Look at that. Love that. That's so cool. What is that noise? Okay. Sweet. Hey guys, welcome back to Creek Life. Heading down to the creek right now. Now know those beautiful lights you saw at the start of the... Oh, I just tripped and may have just sprained my foot. I don't think it's completely sprained, but I've definitely done something to me ankle. But that's fine. This is the perfect terrain to definitely walk down. No, it's not. But, unfortunately, as I was saying, those pretty lights you saw at the start of the video, uh, they're not down here in the bush, they're actually up at the house, I just thought I'd show them off, because they looked quite nice. But, um, yeah, ever since all that flooding, it's been kind of hard to, you know, get down the bush here. But, as you can see here, the water's way back down. Definitely still flowing, though. We've got some uh, bush plants over there. That's a little reference to bush life for those who watch the series. Um, anyways, I found a real good spot to sit is in this car. Except, for some reason, the door's been shut and jammed closed. This was a real nice seating spot when it was open. Is it locked? No, surely not. It's jammed shut. Ooh, what is that? Go away. Oh, he's jammed the door shut. That was not, I loved that seating area in there. That was beautiful. Didn't have all the plants growing in the seats before, but that was beautiful. Look at all that moss growth. This was such a good seating spot. I don't know who's come down here and shut my door, but oh well. It was a good seating spot while it lasted. I used to love just coming down and sitting in the car here. Or truck. Same thing, has four wheels, it drives. Oh, I think I just knocked my hat. Anyways, you may be wondering what I'm doing down here today. Well, for starters, we're heading over, checking that seating area from last episode. I want to see if it's still there, because, you know, people come through. And, who knows, maybe it wasn't to their liking and it got removed. It should be coming up on where it should be now. Spider's just going down off my hat. Should be right around here, I think. Oh wait, I think I see it. Down there, I think I see a chair. Hey, it's still here. There it is, my seating area. In all its glory. And uh, wetness, but we can fix that. I would like to sit in that later. I'm gonna just let it vibe there. And Ooh, that looks horrendous. I love it. There is so much unexplored potential to go check out that area of the bush there. Got lost in it last episode, can't wait to do it again in the future. So you may be wondering what I'm doing down here today. No building work. Maybe, I don't know. I might put a few things in the seating area, that might be about it. But I wanted to check out this side of the bush over here. I wanted to see what was going on over here, because I've kind of went through here in episode one. But apart from that, I've kind of just left it, and I wanted to just get to know this bush a bit more, because I don't really know my way around. So I would want to have a little walk around this side of things, just get to know the place a bit better. I think that should be quite nice. And so I began my journey looking around, founding some old rusty seats, and other bits and bobs of random stuff, and a lot of overgrown plants for beautiful blue sky in the heavens above. 
it's coming through here now it's quite dense reminds me of that forest area and um the other bush from bush life where it has all just the pine trees oh there's a kangaroo kangaroo just hopping off down there unfortunately i missed it i wonder what he was doing in there there's a bit of a clearing maybe he had a little nesting ground let's go check it out just through here is where he was and he bounced off down that way somewhere this was the little clearing area it doesn't look like a whole bunch of stuff's going on here maybe he was just having a good little snacking session snake shouldn't be a concern it's awesome heading into winter so it's quite cold out they should all be elsewhere that isn't here so fingers crossed snakes aren't going to be a problem today Walking around this bush, I took my time to soak it in. Look at the moss, the variety of plants, the calmness that befalled me. Found the fence line right there. A lot of these plants are really tickling me. And I don't like it because I don't want ticks. It's hard to tell. It's quite just thick bush and... The last thing I want to be doing tonight is digging a tick out. Really don't feel like it. Not in the mood. Look what I've just found here. See this? This is the same plant as the bush plant from Bush Life. I'm debating seeing if I can actually dig it out and take it with me and grow it in the seating area. Wouldn't that be nice? Have our own little bush plant down here in the other bush. Let's see if I can dig this sucker out. What's going on down on the ground here, eh? I don't got a shovel or anything. So, see if just pulling it out does something. There we go. Roots are all intact. Now i just got to get it into the ground. Seems there's a property through there, so I'm not going to track too much further either. Heading back to the seating area, I stopped to look at some pretty purple flowers that I found glistening in the sunlight. The sight of them warmed my soul, just as the sunlight warmed me. Just carrying our new friend. To our seating area over here. Now I'm trying to think, what should I name this one? Obviously not bush plant, because you know, that's the one from Bush Life. I want to name this one something different. So I'll think of some ideas while I get this thing into the ground. Thinking about here. Oh yeah, that ground might need a bashing with my stick. Nah, that's way too solid. What is this? Is that from a porta potty? Yeah, I don't know. Don't really want to touch that. Kind of just using the edge of the stick as if it were a shovel to kind of just dig into the ground. It's quite hard ground actually, which I didn't expect after all this rain. But I'm doing what I can. Right, I'm gonna use this chunk of pipe here that I found to try to dig something out. I lift up another piece and a spider the size of my hand here came out and I was like, nope, not that one. Not, not even dealing with that. Just left it there, didn't. No. You see a spider this big? No. You see here guys? I've actually got the plant in. There it is. Right there. So I've just got this here, and that should hopefully hold it up. Hopefully it does well in this spot and doesn't die. Leaves are turning yellow. That happened with the other bush plant, but they would have already been yellow because it's only been like 10 minutes since I moved this. But it will probably die off and then come back. We'll see what happens. The other bush plant did it. This one might do it. We'll have to see. Grab our chair. Put that back. Looking nice and clean, if I don't say so myself. We have got ourselves a lovely little addition here to our little bush seating area. We've got, what's a good name? I had a name idea, then I didn't say it because it sounded stupid. How about the relaxing plant? There we go, the relaxing plant. I reckon that's pretty fitting, that's the whole point of this area, to be relaxing. So that's exactly what it is, this is pretty nice. And the new plant was in. This 
was a great new addition to my little seating area, a plant that I would hopefully get to watch grow, just like the bush plant from my bush slice series. I was looking forward to see how this turned out. Alright, this is probably where I'm going to leave things today. I just sat on the seat and it made a cracking noise. I don't like to hear that. No visible cracks. I mean, look, it is old, so I won't be surprised if it broke. It's probably that, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I reckon it is that. Um, but anyways, we've got our new plant edition. Whatever this is. Things are cosy. Thanks for watching this episode of Creek Life. Um, not the episode I was expecting. None of the episodes I make of this are quite expecting, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I hope to see you guys around soon. Um, as for the big projects I did say that happen in the future, don't know. Don't, don't comment about those. I don't know when that's happening. I might try find something to do in the meantime with this series. Who knows, maybe we'll do up this area a bit more. Maybe a tarp over top could be cool. I don't know what the future of this series holds, if I'm being honest. I'm just enjoying spending my time in the bush. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, this wasn't going to be in the video, but I forgot to actually say it in the bush and it's like 11 at night right now and I don't feel like going down to the bush at 11 at night and I want to get this video rendered to upload for tomorrow. But I just want to say, try out something a little new for this video. Instead of just having the music all the way through, I only had the music in the cinematic, more cinematic shots where I have the um, post voiceover. I just want you guys to comment, let me know what you think about that. Do you prefer having the music in the just the cinematic shots, or would you rather I had the music all the way through the video like I was doing previously? The only reason I don't is because I was watching one of the videos, I think it was episode 134 of Bush Life, and I was watching it back right without the music, and I was like, I love hearing all the nature sounds in this, the morning birds and all of that. Put the music in, you can't hear that anymore. It's like, mmm... Don't know if I'm a fan of that, but I like the cinematic feel the music gives as well. So I'm trying to kind of find a balance between both, and um, if you're watching this, thank you for the suggestion, um, but one of the comments on one of my community posts from My Son Is My Life suggested to keep the music in the more cinematic sections and then have no music in just the normal filming segments. That way I can do a bit of both. That's kind of what I tried out with this video. I might do that for the f next few videos just to kind of see what the reception is. We'll see what happens with that. But just let me know in the comments what you think. And yeah. Anyways, have a good night or day. I'm going to go to bed now. Um, get this video rendered for tomorrow. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.